Morning guys, I've been up for a couple of hours working, but now it is time to do a different sort of work, okay? That means workout. And before I work out, I gotta have a zip fizz, so let's see what flavor I have today. I was like, if it's gonna be citrus, I was gonna drink it this time. I was gonna be mad, but I was gonna drink it. But we have fruit punch, so I don't even have to worry about that because fruit punch is one of my favorite flavors. All right. All right, guys, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. <laughs> to heading into the weekend strong. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's great. Okay, guys, I'm doing Les Mills Body Combat. I have a lot of new things on the menu that I'm trying today, and I have some old faithfuls that I cannot wait to have. Four more. Toast down. Here's up. Now can you reach out now? But how are your fans? You guys, I am all discombobulated today. I am normally not making this video when I'm at the shop. I completely forgot to get footage of Milton and Madeline this morning. Like, I just completely forgot. Don't worry. They're just cute as ever. They were barking up a storm, getting on my nerves. Uh, but I am at the shop right now. This is where I work on Wednesdays. Uh, and it is about 10 o'clock. And I am having my first food of the day. I am breaking my fast. I did not eat yesterday um, because I do alternate day fasting. So I am, according to the Zero app, I am 45 hours fasted. That's pretty legit. I am going to end my fast. I'm going to give my fast a smiley face because I feel great. And I'm going to save that. And then I am breaking my fast with... Oh gosh, with cello wisps and an almond butter. So I'm just breaking my fast with snacks. I really don't like to like cook anything or do anything significant first thing in the morning, but that's why I like having prepackaged snacks as part of my meal prep, because then I can just pop these open. All right, just in case you don't know, the cello wisps are just a crunchy cheese snack. All it is is dried cheese. I have Parmesan and cheddar. So this just tastes like Parmesan cheese. That tastes like cheddar cheese. Listen to how crunchy it is. Mm. I got these individually wrapped bags at Costco, but you can buy them in larger bags pretty much anywhere. Walmart, Meyer, Whole Foods, anywhere like that. These are great. You guys, when hot sauce is life, like I was gonna have my breakfast this morning. I did not. I'm gonna ignore your existence really quick. I realized that I forgot my hot sauce at home and I was like, I cannot eat this if it doesn't have hot sauce. So luckily we're right next door to the Dollar General. You I went over and bought some anyway? I, yeah, it's right over there, Texas she Peach. She said she was, then, then she said she, she wasn't. wasn't. And then, but I ended up having girl. two, exactly. So this is three scrambled eggs, a tablespoon of butter, a couple of tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. I have some sour cream on there, two slices of bacon, a piece of sausage, like, and some hot sauce, thank you very much. I'm like, this is gonna be delicious. I'm not even keto, and I want all of the things that are happening right now. The the bacon. My sister said, smells like bacon in here. <laughs> You're welcome. I mean, I was like, it smells like meat in here. It smells like more specifically bacon in here, and Autumn proceeds to say that she just made bacon in the break room. Like, get in the comments and let me know. Is or is not bacon one of the things you cannot make in the break room microwave? It falls under the category with fish and broccoli. But or for the opposite because... reason. Fish and broccoli smell gross. Bacon smells delicious. Unless you're offering me a piece, don't make it in my presence. I, I'm just saying, those should no, be I kinda, I kind of agree with that. <sighs> so That's pretty funny. Just like come on here and shame my sister in front of you guys as she eats and gives zero f's <laughs> about anything that i'm thinking about no shame here <sighs> i love you guys and i miss you with the fire of a thousand suns i'll see you on live sooner than later we did a live this morning don't forget i go live every single morning at 9 30 a.m over over on my other channel watch autumn. watch autumn yeah it's pretty entertaining i'm not gonna lie guys check us out if she's you... only saying that because she's on there most of the time 
and you're welcome for that as well. I mean, it's just like a get we give Hi. constantly. Hi. Hi. Oh my God, like we have to work. <laughs> yeah, there's like a, a literal FedEx person here. Like I'm blocking this picture for privacy, but um, but yeah, like we're actually at, at our place of employment. Okay, but uh, with that being said, I need to add more hot sauce then I'm gonna finish this. This is delicious. Oh, also, all I do is drink water now because of my No Excuses November Challenge. So I'm gonna drink this and then I'm gonna fill it up again. I'm not particularly excited about it, but like, you just gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I'm talking about? The creaminess of the sour cream. Has the word cream in the name, yes. Girl. Hater. Okay guys, it is time for my second meal. I got some Parmesan cheese wraps. They are literally wraps made only of Parmesan cheese. And I got them at Costco and I've never seen them and I've never tried them, but I decided to make like a little wrap. So I put some of that G Hughes honey mustard down. It was my first time having it ever. I may or may not have like licked way more out of the bottle than I was supposed to. I mean, that stuff is just really good. I cannot wait to try that on some chicken tenders, but now I'm trying that on, I'm trying this on my um, little wraps. So I have a layer of the Parmesan cheese, honey mustard, I have some baby greens, and then on one of the wraps, I split it in half. So on one half I have pepperoni, and on the other half I have some, just some deli meat and like some turkey, and I'm just gonna try to fold this up here. Oh, we got a, we got a spinach dragger. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's cute, huh? Holds together nice. Hmm. It is immediately breaking apart, but mmm. Cheesy and delicious. Okay guys, as quickly as the eating window opens, it closes. I am finishing off my eating window with my chocolate coconut fat bombs. I have a link to the recipe. You can catch it right there. I did a cool thing. I made them in these little cube molds. And so these kind of remind me of peanut butter Snickers and I'm not mad about it. Let's take a bite. Mmm. They don't taste like peanut butter Snickers, but close enough. Chocolatey, nut buttery, coconutty. This is delicious. To be honest, I still haven't finished that cup of water from earlier, so I have to drink that and then drink some more water. And then I'll have Jello and Zevia tonight. Okay guys, sitting at my desk working, I've grabbed a Zevia and I got some Jello. That's it, I'm calling it a day. Making this video while I'm at the shop felt kind of weird. <laughs> I can't wait to get back to my normal routine next week. Have you had those Parmesan wraps before? Let me know in the comments down below. It was actually pretty cool. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.